Hi everybody, today we have a very special video. I'm doing a special Christmas kimchi making. I'm gonna make like little kimchi presents for everyone to give to like family and friends. And then I'm gonna like tie them with a bow and like put a label on it and it's gonna be really cute. So for this, I got two large Napa's cause like usually for myself, I would just make one. And this is gonna be the biggest batch of kimchi I've ever made. I usually only make one at a time. So yeah, kind of exciting. Ew, there's like a slug that's dead inside of that one. Look, do you see that? Ew, we're not using that leaf. I always take the outside leaves off and throw them out because like God knows what the outside leaves have touched. If you saw my last video, I cut them into quarters because that's like the traditional way, but this time I'm just gonna chop them up into like small pieces so that like whoever gets these gifts doesn't have to chop them up themselves. Isn't it a beautiful sight? Now I'm just gonna chop, 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 and make them into small pieces. Okay, I use the same kimchi bowl every time I make kimchi, and I've never seen it this full. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to stir it, because I have to salt them right now. But like, how am I gonna stir it around if it's that full? Okay, and now I'm gonna salt them. All I have is these salt grinders, which is really annoying, but it's just gonna have to make do. My arm hurts. Okay, and now that the cabbage is all salted, it's just gonna sit for a couple of hours and get soft. Today I'm gonna use a red onion and a white onion in the sauce because I don't think I have any more white onions. I also have a Korean pear. I used some of it the other day on the last batch of kimchi, so I'm gonna use the rest today. I also ran out of pre-peeled garlic, so I'm using this, which is so annoying. All right, so everything is finally chopped up and put into the blender, and now I'm gonna blend it, and yeah. All right, it is time to package up the kimchi finally. The whole house smells like it because this is not very tight. So I just got back home from driving and dropping people off places and the house smells very strong. Wow. They actually look so cute in these little containers. I need way too much, so I have to go get my another container to put it in to keep some for myself. Which, like, I'm not complaining because I love having extra kimchi. Here it is. Ah, Jesus. Okay. 
Okay, that's all of them. I made nine, and now it's time to label them and make them look pretty. Guys, they're finally done. I wrote them all on my handwriting. It's kind of terrible. This doesn't even look like it says Logan's Kimchi, but whatever. This mm -hmm. took literally so long, but I'm so happy that they're done and they look really cute, honestly. I'm gonna put them all in the fridge now so that they ferment a bit slower than they would if they just sat out because I'm not gonna be giving them away tomorrow, obviously. Christmas is in a couple days, so they'll just chill in the fridge for now. But yeah, that's all for this special Christmas kimchi present making video i don't know what to call it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching me make my holiday kimchi gifts and yeah that's all bye